Welcome to the Rustic Garden. I have radishes growing in uh, three areas and of all the vegetables, radishes are kind of a, a challenge for me to grow. The bulbs, the radish itself doesn't really form all the time. All I end up with is, all I end up with is really is the leafy greens and a lot of people have that. So I want to go over three tips. One, you can see that the soil is cracking and you really want to lose soil. My soil is a heavy clay which I've been amending over the years with compost when I have it and peat moss and it's still kind of heavy but things grow in it well. And you can see over here these are black Spanish radishes, a little bit different variety than what I typically plant. And you can see the cracking in the soil. And even over 10 years of taking care of stuff, the soil, the soil still cracked. When you um, reach your hand into that, it's kind of loose, but maybe radishes like even uh, a more loose soil so that the radish forms. And what I added this year to this was play sand. So this is a lot looser. So tip one, really try and loosen up your soil. You can add sand if you have heavy clay, organic matter, anything that will make the radish itself um, have an easier chance of forming where it won't really have heavy clay pushing on it. That may or may not make a difference. The other tip I have is don't use fertilizer when you plant radishes. Too much nitrogen will just grow the leaves so skip it. Use compost in this case I added just phosphorus because that will really hopefully help the root form of the radish and last year I used bone meal so the bone meal is in there I also used triple phosphate a chemical fertilizer in here just a little bit to really focus just on using um, phosphorus and then the final tip will be is really they're overcrowded right now but they've gotten to size so I'm going to thin them out to about one inch um, or every two inches or something like that and I'm just going to remove uh, a lot of the radishes from there. You don't want them overcrowded. And I'm going to shoot this video over time so I'll let you see what it looks like when they're thinned out and then I'll let a, another week or so go by and show you hopefully what the radishes look like. Not bad for the first wave of harvesting. They could be a little bit bigger. What I'm going to do next time is increase the spacing by one half than what I showed you um, in the beginning of this video. I always tend to want to plant things more closely together but it's my belief that radishes really do like the space. Um, but so far, the uh, changes really did help improve the output of my radish harvest, and I'm gonna make some changes. Then the radishes out, so we'll see how they look in a week or two. I guess the uh, other tip would be to make sure you water them regularly. These are, this soil here was pretty dry, so I sort of missed watering. I should have probably done it yesterday or the night before. But make sure the moisture's there. You want really loose soil. Thin your radishes so that they're not overcrowded. Make sure you don't use a lot of nitrogen. Um, in fact, I'm not using any nitrogen. I did add a little bit of phosphorus to this. And we're going to see if those tips make for a more successful crop of radishes. And just to see how many radishes I took out, those were all taken out of there. So they were really, really packed in there. And good news is, if you look at some of those, the radishes were starting to form. So hopefully I have some success. And if you come over here, these are my uh, long root radishes, uh, red icicle and, I'm sorry, white icicle and salad rose. So these radishes grow uh, not circles, but long tap roots that can get up to four to six inches. So we'll see how that goes. And I took all those thinnings out of Here there. Here are my globe radishes about three weeks later. The plants are, the leaves are a little bit, a little bit yellow, not as green as they normally are because I used to give them so much nitrogen, but remember this year, it's one thing that I'm not doing is feeding them so that they grow more leaf, so to speak, than root ball. So here are the red cherries and they did pretty well. Again, three weeks later and I'm just gonna take out the larger ones real quick. When they split like this, that's usually from a big dose of water and we just had a storm not too long ago. So they're looking Pretty good, better than I normally get. I'll show you the icicle, the longer radishes, in a second. Let's see. So not so bad. I can see that a lot of them are starting to form just like this. Some of them aren't yet. I'll give them about another week and what'll happen is with the uh, warm weather coming, these will all turn to seed and I'm not going to get any more radishes, but not so bad. I'd like to have more, 
But I'm definitely on the right track with the uh, changes that I made. And the icicle type radishes, the ones that grow long, sort of like a carrot, they are starting to form. It's been about three weeks. So they're doing what they're supposed to do. So I'm satisfied again. Maybe in another week or so they'll be ready to harvest. But the changes that are most important with radishes is you really want a loose soil so that the radish forms easily. Keep them watered. You want consistent moisture. Give them more phosphorus in the beginning than nitrogen and you really don't need to feed them once that they're planted. Hope you enjoyed the video. It gives you some ideas how to improve your radish harvest. Please check out my blog at www.therustagarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.